hello guys welcome welcome to this video i can't keep track of what day it is in vlogmas anymore but welcome to the vlog um i am trying to figure out where to put everything that we got for christmas yesterday uh, if you didn't watch yesterday's video we had our christmas early with my side of the family um, because everybody has plans over the next couple of weekends um, or they're gonna be busy or you know stuff like that so anyways I'm just trying to figure out where I'm gonna put everything I'll put all my makeup stuff all my not makeup stuff skincare stuff uh, in the vanity area of my bedroom and this this is the hardest stuff is when you get kitchen appliances I love kitchen appliances obviously we have an air fryer and an instant pot and everything else but I don't have counter space in this little apartment so it's hard for me to figure out where to put everything I was gonna use this this morning Oh my goodness, this little magic bullet to make me a smoothie, but I was lazy and kind of slept in a little bit and then just hung out in bed because we were so tired from yesterday. We are getting old guys. When we went sleighing, snowboarding, whatever, we all hurt ourselves because we're too old, you know? I was going to get up and make me a smoothie and I didn't, but I'm so excited to use this. I can't wait to use it, but I need to find a place to put it because I just know in the next place that we move to, we're definitely going to have to have some more cabinet space and some more counter space because we just don't have either one of those really here um, at this apartment. But anyway, I just thought I would give you guys an update on the day, start the vlog and stuff. Justin was gonna take his Post Malone Pop to work, but I don't know if he forgot it or if he's scared that someone's gonna steal it. So they're both over there just chilling on the um, coffee table slash TV stand. But anyway, I'm gonna finish putting some of this stuff away and then um, I all that's really left to do is a few dishes and then I really, really need to mop. It's driving me absolutely insane because it's been so um, snowy that we're like tracking mud in the house. But, you know, you guys know we have a dog so we have to take him potty like several times a day and out, you know, out to walk and play for a little bit. And so um, we just track mud in every single time we come back in the house. So it's pointless, literally pointless to mop it unless I'm gonna mop it like 15 times a day. So I'm just trying to leave it and ignore it until the snow melts, which it's supposed to snow again tomorrow. So I don't, I don't even know, but it's really driving me nuts. So I'm trying to just distract my mind. So I went to go put up all my skincare stuff that I got for Christmas and I realized my nasty self hasn't even washed my face yet. I did brush my teeth and you know, all that good stuff, but I did not. I repeat, I did not wash my face. So I'm gonna use um, some of my new stuff and I could not be more excited. Um, so if you didn't watch, I got one of these Vanity Planet face brushes. Um, it's also, it's face and body. It's got a big one for your body that you can exfoliate with. So I'm gonna use that and then I'm gonna pick one of my face cleansers that I got. So this is the face cleanser that I decided to use. It is from I don't even know, Mario, I don't know how to say the last name. Hillary said this is like a really popular skincare brand. I haven't heard of it because I need to be getting into skincare, but I'm cheap and I, you know, I don't know. So um, this is called the Enzyme Cleansing Gel and it says it is their best selling face wash. So I'm excited. It has papaya and grapefruit, what? It is a papaya and grapefruit infused formula. So um, it just says massage in circular motions with warm water and rinse. So yeah, I'm going to put that on my little Vanity Planet spin brush and get to cleansing my face. Now I opened this last night and I got kind of confused because if you look in the like manual how to use this type thing, it shows that there's two different colored uh, brush heads. So you can tell the difference between the daily one and the exfoliating one because you only use the exfoliating one like once or twice a week um because it's rougher on your skin and when i pull them out to look at them they're literally the same color so i was like how am i supposed to tell the difference i don't know if this has been opened before or what so um yeah but you can tell just by like feeling the brushes that this one is more um thicker and so i'm pretty sure that's the exfoliating one so i'm gonna use the other one and i already had just to put batteries in this last night so I'm ready to go. Now 
that felt so refreshing I feel like my skin can like breathe it feels so nice if you guys don't have a spin brush I recommend one just because you're not getting like your oily fingers on your face by washing you know your face with your hands and it just gets like really in there and cleans really well and it just feels so refreshing I love it but anyways I just wanted to film a little um of that for you guys I'm fixing to put this on which I'm excited about because it's a cream and you guys know I have super super dry skin and so I feel like a creamy um moisturizer would be really nice for my dry skin so I'm gonna put this on but it smells so good this one just smells more of like like just a cleanser it's not like a super super strong smell but the or not a cleanser a lotion like a moisturizer but this one you can smell like the grapefruit and stuff it smells pretty good I like it so anyways I'm gonna put this on and then I need to go edit my video for you guys so that's probably what I'm about to do you know our disgustingly messy room but this is just his drone that he got watch you can control it with your hand did I do that <laughs> what the hell I can't believe that thing was only ten dollars. I don't know where they got it from. I want to say Ollie's, so you guys should, um, if you are interested. I think maybe not. But if you guys are interested, you should look it up. Do you know what brand it is? Mm -hmm. No, I'll leave it below if I find it online. But um, anyways, I'm making a roux right now because we're making gumbo for dinner. That's what sounded good because it's cold and snowy outside still. Just who keeps crashing his drone. But um, yeah, I just had to update you guys. Justin got off about, he got home about two hours ago. And then we started the chicken and we went to the store to get a couple things that we needed. And now we're back home making some gumbo. I'm not really sure on what the consistency of a roux is supposed to be like. My mom said, I don't remember what she said actually. But let me show you all what I'm working with. This is what it looks like. I think this is close anyway. So I'm just mixing this up kind of until it starts to turn a yellowish brown color, I believe. And then um, I'm going to add in my celery and onions, let that cook for a minute, and then add it to my gumbo. So I forgot to show you guys the finished result of the gumbo, but it was actually pretty good. We just added um, for the seasoning, we have like this Louisiana Cajun seasoning. It's just like a pre-mixed like seasoning that you can get and that's what we put in it just to give it a spice and then it's also kind of salty and it's got other flavors in it as well so it turned out good that way but um yeah we enjoyed that I just got it put up and everything for uh, leftovers tomorrow Justin got a blanket pin or not pinned cut and I'm fixing to go uh, start pinning it and yeah we've just been being lazy watching the office as usual we started it over again and we've been watching that but we finally decided to get up and Justin cut the blanket and now I'm gonna pin it or help him pin it um, and then probably tomorrow I will start sewing on it um, I still never posted this one for so I don't know what it is but you guys already know we haven't had a lot of motivation lately for whatever reason so we're trying to get back into it slowly but surely we'll get there but anyway i just want to give you guys an update it's a pretty slow evening we're literally not doing anything but watching the office and you know cutting and pinning a blanket so there's not much to film <laughs> that thing is too violent okay so it's been a bit later it's like 10 something i don't even know but we're just gonna get ready for bed justin left his drone on the bed so um i tried to fly it in here to him and i don't know how to work this thing very well um but yeah anyway so i brought it in here to him and then he started playing with it but it died already it doesn't seem like it holds charge for very long but anyways it's still really cool and something fun to do when you're stuck in the house as long as you don't you know knock things over which i probably would so i'll just watch justin play with it but he was making it do flips and all kinds of stuff earlier but i don't know Anyways, um, I know this video wasn't about very much. We just stayed inside all evening because it's so snowy and cold outside. So, um, yeah. But I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.